Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to go over some of the top features for iOS 11 running on an iPad Pro. For this demonstration, I'm using an iPad Pro 12.9 inches, but the whole video applies equally to all supported iPad models, including the iPad Pro 9.7 inch model. So let's dive in and take a look at some of the new fantastic features. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is called the new dock. And as you can see, it is sitting at the bottom here. Uh, the way this dock is different than the previous dock on the iPad, first of all, the other one was attached and you could only add a limited number of apps to it. And it was basically all you could do is drag an app into it and drag an app out of it. And the maximum number was six or five. Now with this new dock, you can add as many apps as you want. So basically, I can grab this camera uh, application right here. I can drag it into my dock, and as you can see, the dock expands. This is absolutely fantastic, uh, not in one way, but because it also extends the multitasking functionality of the iPad, which is the next thing I wanna talk about. So we've got the dock, that's new, it's a new style, but then how can you use the dock in different ways? So let's say I'm launching an application right here, so the news application is running. So how do I uh, use the dock from here uh, to interact with my iPad in new ways? All I do is uh, slowly swipe to the top, and that brings up the customizable dock. And from there, I can, for example, switch to any of the applications that are sitting on the dock. So let's just launch the music application. So as you can see, that's how easy it is to switch apps now. Now the other thing you can do with the dock is if you are in an app, now normally uh, if you're not in an app, what you do is you swipe up and that brings up the multitasking pane. It also brings up the control center which has been consolidated with the multitasking pane. And from here, just out of curiosity, you can uh, reduce or increase the brightness of the iPad. Also you have this slider for the volume. You can go minimum, maximum, whatever you want. And if, also if you press on them, they bring up a bigger controller that you can also use. Okay, so that's an option that you have. Let's just lower the voice all the way to the bottom. And of course, you can do the same thing with this. If you press and hold, it brings up the full menu, uh, which was normally available in the previous versions on the iOS 10 in a different window, but now you can just press and hold on it and it brings up the expanded options, all right? Anyway, let's go back into the application. I'm gonna show you one more thing. So with the dock, uh, if you swipe slowly, it's gonna bring up the dock. You can pull it down if you don't want it. But if you keep swiping upwards, it actually transitions you into the multitasking pane plus the consolidated control center on the corner. And from here, again, you can switch apps if you want and all that good stuff. Okay, so now that we have seen what the dock is and how you can launch it from different uh, places, uh, let's take a look at how multitasking, the split screen multitasking and the slide over multitasking has changed its interface for the better. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch one application, and let's say I want to do slide over multitasking, which is not split screen multitasking, it's just gonna be slide over multitasking. What you wanna do is bring up the dock, and then simply grab the application that you want to slide over, and put it right here. So right now, uh, this window is inactive, but that window is in fact active. And I can take this dock, I can put it to this side if I want to, or I can put it to this side. And it looks like if I do tap here, that doesn't go away. So this will just sit here on the side, docked on the corner, but it's still not split screen multitasking. Now if I wanna convert this slide over view, this is the slide over view right here, when the thing is just docked, you can move it around. If I want to uh, switch to split screen multitasking, oops, let me see, you just have to do like this, and it connects, now it's split screen multitasking, I can actually split the window, okay? That's absolutely phenomenal, guys. And again, I can bring up the dock again. I can go up again, as you can see. And that split screen window that I had remains over there. If I tap it, it brings up again. It brings back the split screen view. Okay, let me go back up again. But if I don't want the split screen, I can go back to settings if I so desire. Or I can go back into my dock okay and i can uh, start another uh, slide over i can do this one right here let's put it over here boom so we have a slide over right now if i go back here if i go back to news 
and uh, it brings up let's me let me just uh, send this away I just want to show you guys one more time how to bring up the uh, slide over window so you pull that up you grab any app that you want and you drop it right there that slide over and then if you go like this that's split screen multitasking and that's the new interface on iOS 11 fantastic also, when you're performing uh, split screen multitasking, you actually have windows interact with each other uh, using drag and drop gestures. So basically, let's go to my email over here and uh, let's also bring up the uh, Safari web browser and make this a split screen multitasking uh, thing. So grab that, put it right here and then swipe this down. And now we have split screen multitasking. Let's just make this equal. So we have half and half. And let's uh, create a new email. And in the new email, let's say that I want to share the link of this website that I'm looking at right now uh, in the email with the person I'm going to send the email to. All I do is, for example, drag and drop that link and dump it right here. And that link is now going to take me to apple.com. In the same way, I can actually drag and drop images, uh, hyperlinks, and anything that you can think of that's draggable from this window to that window or from that window to this window if uh, applicable. So that's also fantastic. Now let's move on to some of the other features of the iOS 11 on the iPad. Now one more thing I want to show you guys is if you do bring up the multitasking pane either this way or by double tapping the home button which has always been there. Uh, if you want to get rid of an application or a split screen combo just like that all you do is press and hold which brings the ability to uh, press X and that actually closes the window that you don't want anymore. Okay, so that's the way uh, to clear the windows if you so desire on iOS 11. Now the other massive feature that I absolutely adore is has to do with the Apple Pencil. So basically what this is called is this is called the Instant Notes. And if you were in the lock screen, all you have to do is tap the screen and that brings up the Notes application and you can start taking notes immediately. Now let me show you how that works. So you do have to go to the uh, the lock screen which is right there you tap on the screen and that brings up the notes application I can quickly start taking notes and the iPad as of now is not unlocked it is still locked so if I try to go into the Apple iPod uh, iPad it's gonna ask me to put in the uh, pin number because the iPad was in fact locked all I did was I uh, let me do that one more time I opened the uh, I opened the uh, lock screen I tapped on the lock screen with my Apple Pencil and that brought up a quick note and I can start taking notes immediately and all these notes get saved so when I go back into my notes application later I will see these under their own instant notes folder another fantastic feature alright so the next feature that I'm gonna talk about is the new document scanner feature that's built into the notes application it's gonna be a little bit hard to demonstrate right now because of the way the iPad is sitting on the table but I'm going to show you exactly what to do to activate this feature. So first launch the notes application and then create a new note. And what you want to do is you want to click the plus sign over here. And on the top it says scan documents. If you tap this, it's going to launch the camera. And then you can use that camera to take a photo of a document, which is going to be scanned into your notes applications. And then you can do whatever you want with that document. Uh, you can use the Apple Pencil to annotate it uh, or write on it or edit it or whatever or you can just use your fingers to manipulate uh, the same things. Alright, so that's the new document scanning feature and I think it's absolutely fantastic and very practical and very useful. Okay, so that is almost the end of the video but one final thing I'm going to show you guys is if you do look at the dock at the bottom over here, uh, here the dock is separated by a line. You'll see some applications here that you use frequently or maybe other applications that are connected to the iPad via your iPhone such as continuity applications they'll show up right here in this separated dock so this side you have all the ones that you put there yourself and over here it's a dynamic list it puts in the frequently used apps or some other things every now and then and that is the end of the video there's some more features I'm gonna be making some more detailed videos but for now I wanted to share the top features that I personally really, really loved uh, with you guys. So make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. Give this video a big thumbs up and also make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online.
Guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop it down below and have a fantastic day.